Okay, so today we're going to be talking about real numbers. So real numbers can break down into irrational numbers. As well as rational numbers. I think I might be running out of space. As well as rational numbers and then irrational numbers. So irrational numbers are numbers that do not repeat as well as they do not terminate, meaning they do not end. So a couple examples of what an irrational number is, is like the square root of 2, pi, and then negative, uh, let's see, 1 point, two one two two or something like that and it just goes on and on so a couple things that for the ir for rational is that rational can break down into a couple different categories so you got integers you have let's see here whole numbers Whole numbers, natural numbers. I'm going to run it out of space. Probably just going to have to use the pound sign just to show for number. Um, and as well as negative numbers. Whoops. Negative numbers. So let's go ahead and try to expand on integers and what those are so integers a couple examples so integers can be negative 3 negative 2 negative 1 0 1 2 3 so integers can be positive, negative, as well as zero. So moving on to the next category, we have whole numbers. So whole numbers are numbers that are not negative. So 0, 1, 10, 15, 300. So whole numbers are numbers that are not negative. Okay, so next category is natural numbers. So natural numbers are numbers that are bigger than zero. So 5, 15, 25, 305. I don't know where I got that number, but 305. So numbers bigger than zero. And then the next category are negative numbers. So negative numbers are numbers less than zero. So negative one, negative 10, negative 25. So negative numbers 
less than zero. All right, so doing a recap. So real numbers can break down into irrational numbers as well as rational numbers. So in order to be an irrational number, you do not repeat and you do not terminate or end. So as you can see here, the square root of two, which is approximately 1.4 two one three and then it just goes on and on so as you can see it doesn't repeat but and then it and it doesn't terminate either so this just goes on and on and then pi right here as you know pi continues going on and on and then this doesn't repeat as well so in order to be a rational number a rational number, which breaks down into integers, whole numbers, natural numbers, and then negative numbers. So negative, so integers is negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. And then it can be positive, negative, or 0. Whole numbers are numbers that are not negative. So 0 and bigger. Natural numbers are numbers that are bigger than zero. So anything larger than zero is considered a natural number. And negative numbers are numbers that are less than zero. So if this video helped you, be sure to like and subscribe. And I will be back in the next one. Peace.